Hello, everyone, and very welcome to our second webinar and Q&A session. We're really happy to see you here. We're sorry for running a bit late, but now we're here and ready to start. Uh, my name is Linnea, and I work as a relationship manager um, at the Stockholm Hub. Um, I've been with Hyper Island for about three years now, and this is my colleague. And my name is Karotta, and I also work at the Stockholm Hub as a relationship manager. Yes. So a short recap on why we're doing this. Um, so we get a lot of questions, and Hyper Island can sometimes be a bit hard to grasp. Um, so we want to offer this as an interactive space where we can connect, ask questions, and dig a bit deeper into the school and what we are actually doing. And we have these themed sessions, but it's important to say that you're always welcome to ask us about anything and everything. Uh, the time is for you, so feel free to do so, and no questions are done. Uh, today's theme is about Hyper Island's global network, and we will, uh, we will uh, explore a bit about how the students collaborate and how they connect with the industry, but also try to explain what Hyper Island's global network actually is, but hopefully also straighten out some question marks regarding the industry uh, or the internship period that all programs contains of. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Q&A function is on, so let's get this started. Yeah. So basically, to start off with, um, Hyper Island is not a traditional school. We don't have any uh, teachers, like teachers, uh, textbooks, exams, or uh, classrooms. Instead, we give our students a brief and a deadline, and they also have a client connected to this brief. So everything that they do is really real life uh, work experience rather than actually going to school. Uh, and these clients that we use are some are uh, from all over the world, uh, about 600 plus companies in Hyper Island's global network. Uh, and during each project period, we also have uh, modules. So depending on which kind of module you're in, which kind of subject you, you are um, uh, studying at the moment, there's a client that actually needs this problem to be solved. So for instance, if the interactive art director program has a um, user, user, user experience design uh, module, then we have a company that has a challenge in that area and needs our students' help, basically. And for those of you that may not know what a brief is that we always talk about at Hyper Island, it's that challenge that the, the companies really uh, feel that there's no right or wrong answer to, but they need our students and our students' creativity and their group work to actually work with these briefs and how they can develop. Um, also, yeah, what else was there? Was there anything on that part? No, I, I think it's pretty much covered, but I'm, I'm thinking a bit, so if we don't have teacher, then who is actually running these mm. modules? So we want our students to take a lot of responsibility themselves, both as individuals, uh, but also as team members. Um, and it's, it's a lot in their in interest to get input from experts in each and every expertise area. So since we don't have any teachers, we bring in lectures from around the world uh, to support and lecture our students within their expertise area. And we've been navigated the, the digital landscape for, for nearly 20 years now. Um, understanding the importance of, of learning, adapting, um, and uh, you know, staying ahead of the curve. And, and this is the reason to why we have over 250 consultants working with us. We simply, we simply need that mix. And we also prefer the lectures to have one foot in the industry to make sure that they are as relevant as possible for our students. And since we've been since we've been in the landscape for, for, for quite some time now, we have a quite extensive network around the globe with, with an eclectic mix of, of talents and, and professionals around the globe that we are, we are very much proud of. Um, and also, we don't want to be limited by land borders in any way. So that's why we, even though you study here in Sweden, we will fly in people from around the, the globe uh, to support you and to have lectures with you. And sometimes we, we connect with them digitally. I also think it's important to say that all programs at Hyper Island are created together with the industry. It's often so that someone approaches Hyper Island when they have identified some kind of knowledge gap and saying, hey, we need to start this program because in, in three years time, we need to have this and this amount of, of people that are experts in this specific area. We also think it's very important to create 
uh, to create the programs together with the industry to make sure that the students are attractive and relevant to the market when they get out there. And that's why we're also super proud of, of the numbers that we have and the statistics that we have that eight out of 10 get a job within six months after, after graduation. So we really wanna make sure that our students are sort of real world ready. Um, also, all of our programs have a board. And this board contains of both industry leaders, but also students from this specific program. And the aim is, is to sort of uh, create um, a close-knit community between the industry and the students during the year at Hyper Island. Because it's important to say that at Hyper Island, nothing is ever set in stone, and there's always room for tweaks uh, during the year when you're here. And it's also something that we put a lot of emphasis on, that the students are actually responsible to create the absolute best education for them as possible. So we put a lot of, put a lot of that on the students as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. And who are then the students? Uh, our students are from 40 plus different countries. And we're really proud to have that span and we seek diversity. So there is no limit of age or experience or where you come from. We would like to mix cultures, experiences, ages and nationalities as we think that that is actually what sparks creativity. Mm -hmm. um, and what else? So to really get a fully picture of this, we have this map where you mm -hmm. can find data uh, on where all the connected people of Hyper Island is actually spread all over the world. And that site is called worldofhypers.com. So have a look at that and then you can then you can really understand how the network of students and collaborators mm -hmm. uh, look. And we actually got a, a question that we can take now already, I think. Yeah. Because exactly. it's really connected to what we just talked about. And it says, what do you normally look in look for in a student applying to Hyper Island? So that is basically our message, that we don't look for a specific trade or a uh, experience in that sense. You could come from anywhere in the world, any experience actually, because anybody could qualify to be a high driver student. Mm. We, student. We do have requirements uh, that comes with like one year or uh, one year work experience or higher studies, but that is more of a sense that we take off from a higher level and that experience could be from the music industry, it could be from advertising, it could be from law school, it could be from anything that actually gets you going and fit in the uh, areas of reflection and how you can actually mm. use that in Hyper Island. But we have like, when, when you apply for Hyper Island, you always meet us for an interview um, and we always recommend people to just try to be themselves. And I understand that that is hard and it's always super tricky to sort of understand, um, but it's, it's really, true that we want you to be yourself um, and just tell your story and as Halotta said because we really need this mix and we want this mix of, of people so it's not better to be an extrovert rather than an introvert or it's it's, it's not like that at all so just come be yourself um, and that will be the absolute best definitely mm. and you can also add that uh, we are a school in Sweden so of course we're um, affected of the fact that we're we're in Sweden but our students bring the international um, environment, I would mm -hmm. say. So everything is in English and everybody should feel like this is a safe environment that we actually are quite multinational in that sense. And that's mm -hmm. really cool to, uh, to be part of, even for the staff, of course. Yes. Um, and just to go further, um, one third of each program is an internship period and the student can go anywhere in the world that they like. Uh, we don't really choose and pick where you should go, what you should do, because every student has their own dreams, their own objectives, and where they want to go and work in the future. So it's really important that the students have this freedom, which is also a challenge to choose where should I go and what should I do. But when they actually go out there and find their own way, that's also when the network starts to spread in, the, in that good sense, because if, if we don't interfere when everybody goes, the network is spread more uh, in a natural way. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want, the people to go out and make, make a difference on the companies that they're going to stay in and what they learn at Hyper mm -hmm. Island as well. And we actually got a second question here. What do I do if I don't find an internship? Mm -hmm. So that is actually a really good question. Um, as Colotta said, it's up to each student to find their own internship, but say that a person would have a, a problem with that, we would at Hyper Island, of course, support you. But I've been with Hyper Island uh, for three years and it's never happened. But we get a lot of questions from companies uh, all the time, like every week, 
We get people contacting us and saying, hey, we want Hyper Island students to join us. Um, and we have this job board. So it's uh, hyperisland.com slash job board, uh, where we put up the, or where the industry put up the jobs. Um, the, what do you say, the application? The application. Form. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then it's up to the students to, of course, go in there and check. But there's always a lot of people that want Hyper Island students to their companies but it's really up to up to the students. But if there would be a problem, we, we would absolutely be there to support. So mm. you shouldn't worry about that. Mm. And also good to know is that the internship, I feel, is really the springboard for further employment. Because a lot of students are, if you, if you go for the broader picture, I want to project manage, but I'm not really sure in which area maybe. Is it the motion industry or is it on an advertising agent, agency? So basically, when you go out on internship, maybe you learn more of how can I implement what I've actually learned in school, since Hyper Island is school, but more of a job-focused school. But still, uh, it's really useful to get this period. And we have internships from 15 weeks up to 30 weeks, depending on which program you attend to. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we sort of covered, covered it. the areas. Yeah. Do we have any more questions? So you can post them now. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah. I think we get one more question. So what kind of companies do Hyper Island collaborate with? Mm. That's a really uh, good question. We collaborate with, with a lot of different companies, yeah. uh, both with the big ones like, like Google, like Nike, Adidas, stuff like that. But we can also collaborate with the local bakery next door. So it's really high and low, and it's, it, we really choose um, the collaborators depending on the, beat, uh, the brief mm. to make sure that it covers the learning outcomes for the, for the students. Mm -hmm. So it's both global, international companies, and then small local ones. So it's it's a it's a it's a wide range. Yeah, and I would also say like a lot from the startup industry. Definitely, uh, since Stockholm and or Sweden in that sense mm -hmm. is actually quite um, not famous, but we're beginning to work a lot with uh, new entrepreneurial um, areas, and we have a lot of startups just in this city mm -hmm. that we're sitting in. So that's really exciting too, how to spark that. And a lot of students actually also start their own companies during mm -hmm. their hyper period. But I can really recommend you to go into YouTube, go into Vimeo and search for Hyper Island, Hyper Island student projects. And I, I'm sure that you will find a lot of inspirational stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so you can find out more, more there. Um, also, if you want to connect with, with a student or similar, uh, please uh, go into our, our Facebook pages. There you can uh, you always connect and, and Hyper Island alumni tend to be very, very supportive and, and helpful and want to support people and guide them through through the process. So mm. go in there and if you can't find a direct contact there, email one of us and we will support you and put you in contact with yeah. one of them. Another one. Yes. Does a foreign student need to decide from start where to apply for internship? If not, how could the visa procedures work if this is decided in the last minute? So basically, this is case by case, I would always mm. say. Each student have different um, um, uh, nationality. So the visa rules are different for a Swede want to go to America or an American want to go to France. Mm. Uh, so basically, um, I would say that you have to last minute is is always like up to the migration board we have good contacts we can help we are here to help our students and be supportive uh but the students we, we tell the students to also apply for their internship in time so they have a lot of uh, um, choosing to do and like it's better to get three than to have none in the last minute mm -hmm. uh, so basically your project pro program manager and your fellow students will do this at the same time and they will encourage you to start looking for what you want to do mm -hmm. um, but in terms of visa that is I would say case by case depending on where you're from but sort of mm -hmm. sure that you can say that it's up to each students regarding this visa we are always mm -hmm. here to support but it's it's the students responsibility to make sure that you have enough time so you can go where you want to go and that you apply for visa in time if you need one yeah and to actually exactly. have the information do mm -hmm. i need a visa for going to this country if i mm -hmm. want to do the internship there that is that is the responsible on the mm -hmm. student so that's uh, really important that we don't interfere in that and that is the freedom but the challenge yeah as i said before 
But Hyper Island, at Hyper Island, we sit in a very open space. So we sit together with the students. Mm -hmm. So you will notice when you hopefully join us um, that there, there's very easy to, to get in contact. So you can always come and, 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 and let us know if you need any support. And we will do whatever we can to support you, of course. Cool. Yes. But I think that that was it then. That was it for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Um, next session is on January 13th. 13th. Yeah. And the subject of that day is moving to Sweden. So we've done a little uh, part for the international students that may not have been here before. So exactly. that's going to be really exciting too. And I think it's at 3.30. Let me just check so we get you the right time. Uh, yeah. 3.30 CT. Yeah. And thank you so much for joining. And until then, uh, Merry Christmas. And, and Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Bye. Bye.